Good day ladies and gentlemen, in this video we are going to focus on determining the oxidation number of a metal within a metal complex. So over here we have our metal complex, so we have rhodium, we have a ligand, the ammonium ligand, we have a chloro ligand, and then we have the anion. So now the rhodium, we need to find the oxidation state. So that is why it's X. Our ammonia doesn't have a charge because ammonia has got no charge. So, but we have five of it, so it's five times zero. Your chlorine is, is got a charge of minus one because it's group seven. So this ligand called chloro has got a charge of minus one. And then we have the nitrate anion. And as you've seen in the previous video, that this polyatomic anion has got a charge of minus one. So we have two of these anions, so therefore it's two times minus one. And this whole complex has a charge of zero, it's got no charge, it's neutral, so therefore it is equal to zero. So now we can solve for x, and you can see the oxidation number for rhodium is thus plus three. In this case, our metal complex has got a charge of plus 2. So we need to take this into consideration when we do our oxidation state calculation. So we have our copper, which is the unknown, that's the X. We have ammonium here, it's got no charge, so this is a, also a ligand, so this ligand is amine, so this amine ligand has got no charge. And we have four of them, tetra. So it's tetra amine, so we have four times zero. This complex has got a charge of two plus, so it is equal to plus two. So now we can solve for x, and our copper has an oxidation state of plus two. So now very similarly, we can get the oxidation state for the cobalt. We have six of this amine ligands, so it's hexaamine, and they have a charge of zero. So X is our cobalt, the unknown, and we have six of the amine ligands, and it is equal to plus three, the charge of our complex. So the oxidation state of the cobalt can thus be calculated to be plus three. So over here, we have water as our ligand, so it's hexa aqua. So now we want to get the oxidation state of the nickel, and this, our metal complex has got a charge of plus 2. So nickel is the unknown, the nickel is the X, and we have 6 times 0. 0 is a charge on our water. That's our water ligand called aqua. So it's hexa, aqua, is equal to plus 2. That plus 2 is a charge of our metal complex. So now we can calculate the oxidation state of the nickel, which is plus 2. Okay, so here we have another metal um, complex with cobalt, here we have ammonium, well that ligand is called uh, amine ligand, there's five, so it's penta amine, we have a, a chloride iron here, which is a ligand, because it's inside those brackets, and we have some chloride ions, which is outside the brackets, which is functioning as anions. So now we can solve for the cobalt, so the cobalt is the unknown, so that is X, there's no charge on this amine ligand, and there's five of them, so it's penta amine, so five of the amines with no charge. We have the chloride ion, that as a ligand, chloro, minus one, and we have two chloride ions as anions, so it's two times minus one. So the, your chloride ions is in group seven, and that's why it's got a charge of minus one. So now this whole complex has got a got no charge, it's, it's neutral, so therefore it's equal to zero. Now we can solve for x, and the oxidation number for cobalt is thus plus three. 